Hello, beautiful people. So I'm here with you just to share a few moments of encouragement. And what I want to share with you on today is that God sees you. God sees you, El Roy, the God that sees me. I want you to know that where you are is not too far gone, that God cannot locate you, that God does not care about you, that God is not concerned about you, that God does not see you going through. Hallelujah. I know some of you may have experienced such pain in the pit that it seems like the darkness has hidden you, has buried you even, my God, has left you for naught, my God. But God is a God that sees. God is a God that sees and he is a God that knows. The word of God tells us that while we were in our mother's womb, God himself saw us. He knew us. And to know means to be intimate with. It means to be woven. Hallelujah to God. God knows us so well. The Bible tells us that he knows the number of hairs on our head. Hallelujah to God that his thoughts of us are as the number of the sand. Could you imagine? Could you even fathom counting sand? God is concerned for you. God cares about you. God knows you. God sees you. And yet he has called you. God cares about you and God is carrying you through. I want you to be encouraged that in whatever it is you are experiencing, give it to Jesus. Give it to Jesus. Some of you may be asking how. How do I give it to Jesus? How do I give it to God? The Bible encourages us He said in his word in Matthew, I think it's chapter 11, 28 through 30. I didn't even plan to go here. But he says, come to me, all ye who are heavy laden, who are burdened. Hallelujah. Who are weighed down. What is uh, weighing you down? You know, it doesn't even matter because he says, come to me, all of you. And he said to take of me, to learn of me. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. That is how you give it to God. You say, Father, I give this to you. Father, I trust you. Father, I know that you know me. I know that you see me. See, it's not enough for me to just tell you that God sees you. I am encouraging you. But it's something about when you begin to tell yourself, Father, I know you see me. Father, I know you know me. Father, I know you. Father, you have brought me through time and time again. Jesus, you have been with me. You have been my friend. Holy Spirit, you have been my comforter. Holy Spirit, I need you. Holy Spirit, I welcome you to come. Father, I give it all to you. For some of you, you need to repent. You need to repent. And this is something that the Lord has been dealing with me about. You need to repent so that you can be able to release what is not designed for you to carry. God did not design you to carry. Hallelujah, a load that was meant for him to carry. The Bible says, cast all your cares, casting all our cares on him, for he cares for us. Give it to Jesus. Give it to the Father. Give it to him and allow his presence to consume you. Allow his peace to mount guard. Yes, peace that surpasses all understanding to mount guard over your hearts. Hallelujah to God. Allow his favor, his grace, and his mercy to be your bodyguards, to protect you. Allow God himself to fight for you, to find you. My Lord Jesus, God loves you. If you're listening to this, I want you to know this beyond a shadow of a doubt. God loves you. If you've ever questioned, does God love you? If you have ever questioned, has God left you? Have you ever questioned, have you gone too far that God cannot, you know, get you? He cannot fix you. He cannot do what it is that he has desired to do in you. And you are listening to this message. I want you to be encouraged and I want you to know that God is not done with you. He loves you and he wants you to come to him. He sees you. He sees you. He sees you. Elroy, the God who sees me. Begin to tell yourself that even in the midst of what you're going through, God, I know that you see me. God, that I know, I know that you understand me. God, I know that you love me. God, I know that you created me in your image. And God, I know that you are capable. 
to get me to my expected end. He says, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you. I know the plans that I have for you. And they are to prosper you and not harm you. But to get you to your expected end. Being confident. Being assured. Knowing that you began a good work in us is faithful to complete it. Be encouraged that he sees you. And that he knows you. And that he loves you. And that Jesus died for you. Shed his blood for you. That through him and only him, you can be made whole. Hallelujah. God bless you.